Hello everyone, Transport Enthusiast here, and welcome back to The Bus by TML Studios. In this video, I'm going to be telling you and showing you how the bus by TML Studio runs on a system that is minimum requirements or below the minimum requirements, i.e. on the low spec or the a low spec PC or a low end PC. And I'll also be showing you what settings I use as well in order to maximize performance too. So in, in essence, I will be giving you a guide to the settings as well and showing you what all the different settings, well, not all, but most of the different settings do. So first of all, I'm just going to drive this bus for about one stop just to show you how it performs on my PC. I'm just going to give you my specs just to kind of put things into context. So first of all, I am here on my PC is an i5-3570, a GTX 1050, 16 gigabytes of RAM GDR, DDR3, then we have a one terabyte SSD, which is the which is the storage device that I am using. I have load like I have actually saved the bus onto, so I am using an SSD for the bus rather than the HDD. Uh, the only difference between using an SSD and HDD is probably that a HDD will increase your loading times a tad bit. Anyhow, so here we are at the moment in the bus, and one thing you'll notice is that actually the minimum requirements CPU wise on i5-4460. So technically speaking, my CPU on i5-3570 would be below the minimum requirements. But as you can see, I can run the bus uh, fine enough. I don't know why these passengers go onto the road. Sometimes it happens here. I think this is an issue with the parting, which probably will be fixed in one of the, well, in, you know, as the game gets updated, because obviously it's early access. But nonetheless, as you can see here, you can still run it on older gen i5s as long as they meet the, as long as they are basically power wise the same as an i5 4460 or better. Because actually, an i5 3570 is slightly more powerful than a 4460. What you'll notice is a lot of games these days, they basically mention the i5 4460 as the minimum requirements. I think it's a bit of an arbitrary device because Light Simulator also has that as the minimum requirements. Train Sim World 2 also has that as the minimum requirements. Basically, what it indicates is that they don't actually test the minimum requirements on PCs that are, below, uh, that are a Gen 3 or less. So, what I, sorry, what I meant to say is that the minimum requirements are tested on up to a, generation, a fourth generation Intel processor or the... Uh, AMD equivalent. So basically, they just don't do benchmarking on all the CPUs. Hence, why they are list the fourth generation is listed as the minimum requirements. But pretty much, they're not guaranteeing to it's going to work on the third gen because they themselves haven't done the empirical testing. But nonetheless, as you can see here, case in point, it runs well. Another thing I noticed is that some of you, uh, some of you folks on the Discord um, and the TML Studio Discord, that is, have a GTX 1050, which is a 2 gigabyte VRAM graphics card. And this is the exact same graphics card that I have. One thing to mention is since this uses the Unreal Engine 4, the bus is uh, going to be more GPU bound because the Unreal Engine tends to be GPU bound rather than CPU bound, although it does use up the CPU as well. But as you can see here, as would be expected, it, it, the GTX 1050 can run the game fine. One thing you probably might notice is that it might have some issues rendering Rendering the vehicles in motion while you're in the while you're in the bus, especially at speeds. If you take a look at that van down the distance, you might notice some trailing or pixelation. But you know it doesn't vastly take away from the playing experience. So, because I know at the moment there is a graphics card shortage as well, so a lot of people are probably stuck with the graphics cards they have at the moment, or at least they don't want to be paying the inflated prices for a graphics card, which makes sense. So a 1050 does run the game fine. Then you know. Studying wise, there isn't too much studying. If you see any uh, studying, most of it might be on this on the actual recording end. It is a bit, admittedly, it is a bit kind of jerky. Sometimes when I say jerky, what I mean is that there's like like a minute second pause sometimes. But that's more to do. I'm kind of pushing my se I've kind of pushed my settings a bit uh, past what perhaps my C my GPU or CPU might be able to handle. So now what I will do is I'll actually show you my settings as well so just so you can kind of get an impression of what settings you can use generally what i've noticed is as with tram some of the other games that use the unreal engine 4 changing the settings doesn't really make too much of a difference other people have told me with that they found that the shadow quality makes the biggest difference but what we'll do now is i'll show you the settings i have at the moment and then i'll change some of them about so you have your gamma and your contrast contrast this really doesn't change the this doesn't really change at all performance all it really does is just it changes the how the colors appear so i'll just show you here if we look at contrast as you can see here it gets brighter then it gets darker and if we move the gamma around darker brighter darker i'm just gonna back because i don't want to save that and then we go back to graphics your bloom effect again this is 
it's yeah it's again it's makes things quite dark this is really just about fine-tuning it to to get the kind of visual appearance of the game that is appealable to you you have your lens flare here again you're not going to notice much there it's more to do with the sun reflect, reflecting off the windscreen motion blur now one thing you might notice is there's a motion blur i recommend keeping this off because when you turn it on it kind of brings in motion blur not too sure why one would want that personally but you know it's all down to preference one thing you'll, i'll mention is this auto detect feature i think is quite useless or at least it is in the alpha stage maybe it's going to get patched in the early access phase but as it stands i don't think it it's very beneficial at all because for me it's the same with tramps and i think even trains i'm not sure about trains in world 2 i can't remember but for some reason it seems to just put everything on high even though my gpu is technically on the minimum requirement side of things it had pretty much everything on epic or high when you think it'd be more in the low end of scale but as you can see here i've got my resolution scale to max my view distance to epic anti-aliasing to high post-processing to high shadow quality to high and material quality epic texture quality epic fx quality epic mirror quality high it, one thing to notice is the mirror quality is kind of noticeable if it's not an epic because if it's not an epic i'll just show you now quickly as you can see here it's it's actually a bit pixelated and the only way to actually get it to be fully clear is to put it on high but i haven't really bothered doing that because it's you know it's visible enough and reflections do tend to impact performance generally so i would kind of recommend keeping it at the high unless you're really adamant to get you know a, f a clear screen on the mirror then if you go back to options and you go back to graphics then you have your light distance your full ash quality and that's really all there is into graphics and then the other one thing is to change the ai if you go into game if you go into controls no not yet no it was game it was game and you go to the very bottom you have your ai traffic density i've set mine to 68 and 68 if i had it at 55 i think it was better at 55 as you increase the ai car it does increase lags so if you're having performance issues i t i recommend the first but first course of action should be to lower the traffic density and the pedestrian density so i'd put this at around 50 55 that's generally the sweet spot you do kind of notice less cars about when it's at 50 to 55 but there's still enough cars especially on the txl where the airport is and you know to kind of give that to make the city feel alive but especially for those of you who are lower spec pcs you know and you don't really want to be pushing your system or you want to kind of improve the fps a bit i or the performance a bit i'd recommend perhaps lowering traffic density this is now i can't get i think this will i've noticed that the traffic density when it's at 55 is running slightly better than it's at 68 but you know i don't take you, you know it's not to guarantee because with the settings it's kind of strange what the unreal engine for because i i find a lot of times even when you put everything to ultra it doesn't make a difference i kind of think it it kind of knows this because it, other people have said this as well it seems that it kind of knows what the system's maximum capacity is and it doesn't really push it beyond that because even sometimes if you increase the quality the buildings look pretty much identical even if you change between ultra and low there isn't too much of a difference in some of the settings some of those settings there is but some of them not too, it's most of them it's like not that much of a difference visually so that's that's one thing to bear in mind so we, realistically if you want want to improve the performance the other thing that people have suggested is the shadow quality and you know i have mine at high but if you lower it down i'll just click accept and let's take a look at the performance difference now as you can see it does run it's, it seems to be running a tad bit better but the thing about shadow quality is it, when you have it off it looks very too saturated everything's oversaturated so we're just going to turn it back on e having it on low is okay but i think really high is where you want to ask for the graphics if you can a like for the visual appearance if you know if you if you can manage if system can manage it at that qu effect so you're going to put the shadow quality back up another thing to mention yeah so there's that you can the other thing is it's nice that it actually shows you the changes while you do them in the settings the other thing to notice is if you actually turn down your resolution scale it it's you don't want to be doing that because now what you'll notice is that the everything looks less detailed like the buttons are less defined and it kind of makes everything less clear so if that's one of the settings that you really want to have at maximum is just because having a non maximum does not look good but yeah if, as you can see here even i'm i'm running most i've put most stuff on high and epic and it, it runs fine you know i'm not sure what fps i'm getting because i don't have an fps tool to tell me but you know performance wise 
it's running generally fine. So the main thing I'd say is, oh, what did I do there? Okay, the main thing I'd say is keep your try. If you're having performance issues, the things to look at is like reducing the reflection size, reducing the AI traffic, and also reducing the shadow sizes if possible. And this trailing you see here, this some people have said it's kind of an issue with the with the Unreal Engine 4, but I think it's mainly prominent on lower spec PCs. So. That's unfortunately it might be something that you'll just have to will encounter inevitably. But on the right side, the actual game is playable. You actually can drive the bus, and like it's still in a way performs better than Omsi 2 because there's none of those lag spikes Omsi 2 has with the bus starts jumping even on a recommended requirement. So there's none of that, you know, freezing or stuttering. So generally, as you can see on a TTX 1050, I know a few of you have it on there. You should have no problems running it really. You should be able, you know, it. You have a playable experience, and if you want an older gen CPU, as long as it's the same kind of gigahertz power and the same similar requirement, a similar similar spec to the 4460, it shouldn't have too much of an issue running the bus either. And yeah, you can just take a look at the exterior view. Seems to be the case, like with Lomsi 2, when you go into exterior view, uh, FPS increases a bit as well. Just there from a quick test. But anyhow, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any further questions about whether your system can run this EDC, don't hesitate, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section down below. And, you know, I'll try to help you out as much as possible. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content of the bus. We'll be having, we'll be doing some live streams and videos of the depot, which is further down that way and Alexander Platz. And that, you know, a lot more exciting stuff regarding the bus will be coming this your way. Do join the Discord as well, we can stand even more on top of the news regarding the bus. That's it for now, until next time.